co-founder of a venture fund called as Ankur Capital Fund. We are a SEBI registered fund and we are an impact investment fund. Uh, we invest into agriculture, health and education. Um, the health and education are primarily either focused on rural India or the BOP sector in uh, urban India. Uh, agriculture is something that we believe needs a lot of investment because uh, a significant part of our country is still focused on agriculture and improving productivity, effectiveness and uh, market access for agriculture will create a huge economic impact. So uh, that's these are the three sectors that we invest in. Okay. My experience in DD uh, has been very, very rewarding over the last few years. Uh, when I initially came about four years back, I had uh, the, the ecosystem was very, very nascent. Right? So most of the entrepreneurs were uh, still at very, very nascent stages and still struggling with what they would want to do and how they would want to do. And um, the way I have seen that the ecosystem develops over a period of time is 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 something that you really see getting demonstrated in development dialogue. Over the last four years, there's been such a significant change that year on year, you feel, uh, you see the exponential growth in the entrepreneurship ecosystem. And uh, this year, uh, the number of entrepreneurs that I'm, that I'm meeting, both across all uh, um, uh, gender, uh, across all uh, age groups, you can see that that whole ecosystem of entrepreneurship is is exploding right and uh, I strongly believe that an entrepreneurship ecosystem will help create the economic uh, development of a region uh, so I think um, I'm you know the the uh, sandbox so when I said development dialogue that's uh, the way that I see it is that development dialogue is a um, uh, is a is a uh, uh, exhibition of what Sandbox is doing. So when I spoke of what my experience has been in the development dialogue of how I've seen the ecosystem develop, that's because of the work that has gone on in the Sandbox, which is throughout the year, right? And uh, so the development dialogue by itself, having a conference once a year, is not going to make a change. The fact that Sandbox is in the background, working with all these entrepreneurs over the year, that is what is making the change. So I think uh, the development dialogue is just an expression of what's happening on Sandbox. So really, I mean, I, uh, I think that uh, uh, India does need, like last evening they were saying, India does need another 100 Sandboxes across the country. And I'm sure that that will create the change that we would want to see. Uh, it's been uh, very, very uh, uh, rewarding. Um, and then, uh, you know, so two levels. One is uh, uh, interacting with entrepreneurs. Um, because when you talk to entrepreneurs, there are two things. One is an entrepreneur sees a problem and then thinks of a solution, right? So many a times uh, when we come from different uh, backgrounds and different uh, geographies, uh, we don't realize the kind of problems or kind of solutions that is possible at the grassroots level, right? So when you meet these entrepreneurs from Sandbox, you get to see is a fact of the different kinds of problems that exist in the in the economy and how local solutions can develop to resolve some of those, right, as one. Uh, the second part of it is that, uh, so it's been a learning experience for me when I'm talking to all these guys. Uh, the second part of it is also sharing what uh, 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 what my experiences have been from the other side as well has also been a rewarding experience because um, many a times uh, um, young entrepreneurs feel wonders of fact why are we not making success or why are we getting rejected so um, sharing our experience experiences of what we look for and how we look for and this dialogue of hearing their problem and solution is this I, I, I would say is the one which makes a lot of difference on this takeaway has been that um, a, you know uh, like I said that I started uh, visiting DD about four years back and that four four and a half years back has been my experience with sandbox and uh, um, well, while we do keep uh, hearing about how uh, uh, um, um, one can develop a startup ecosystem in India. Um, <coughs> um, 
and we know as a fact that you know bangalore has a vibrant startup ecosystem we keep speaking about but uh, the the bangalore ecosystem is not um is not a home grown is not a uh, 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 developed ecosystem in the fact that it's not um, it's not hundreds of entrepreneurs budding entrepreneurs coming up to create an ecosystem bangalore is a place where the ecosystem is developed because of various other reasons and also only of a particular kind of ecosystem which is technology led right um i think in india if you look at it of a vibrant ecosystem i think hubli is and i have traveled fairly wide now across the country and i must say as a fact there are just one or two places where you see such a uh, a diverse kind of businesses coming out so which is what is representative of a ecosystem of an entrepreneurial ecosystem and i think hubli is one of those right uh, the other ones that are jaipur and pune um that because of traditionally there have been some work that has been happening and is developed but hubli has been in the last 10 years or so has been because of a concerted effort of how you can create an ecosystem i think that should become a model uh, somewhere i think that the government should look at this and see adopt this as a model across different geographies if you do that that's what i would say that yeah.